Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do the June 3-in-1 video. If you don't know what the 3-in-1 is about, it's basically a series of video, a group of booktubers in the Goodreads group, booktubers from all around the world post every month and basically in this video you're supposed to pick up three books uh, that match the theme proposed and just talk about them. So the theme for this month is LGBTQ plus reads because it's pride month and i thought it was a very great idea i'm trying to read more um diverse books and i'm very interested in uh books with uh, lgbtq plus character obviously um if you have any books with uh bisexual representation and asexual representations please do recommend them in the comments because I'm really interested. Um, before I forget, I will link in the descriptions both the link to the Cruise Reads group and the link to Cherry Walker's uh, channel because she's the one who created this 3-in-1 uh, uh, video thing and uh, the Good Reads group. So for the video, I picked uh, three different books, uh, one with gay rap, one with uh, lesbian rap and one with trans representation and let's just talk about them. So the first book I wanted to talk about is uh, Stardust by uh, Susanne Van Huyen. Uh, this book was published last year if I remember correctly. It's a kind of science fiction, a dystopia sort of story. The main character um, lives in the US and he his dream is to move to Mars and he's trying to get into this program and if he passes the exam and everything he'll be allowed to go to Mars and he wants to do that because he promised his brother that he would scatter his uh, his ashes on Mars so this guy really wants to go to Mars and uh, before the process starts he meets another guy called Crow and they grow closer and they form a relationship together and it's basically about both this relationship um, and this Mars program, the uh, story is set in a near future. It was a very, very interesting science fiction story. I reviewed it on my blog. I will link the book in the description. And if you like science fiction, then I definitely recommend it. Uh, the next book has a lesbian representation. It's an adult fiction called The Animators. It was my, one of my favorite reads last year. Uh, it was written by Kayla Ray Whiteacre. It's basically the story of these two best friends who met in college and decided to make cartoons together. It's told from the point of view of one of uh, these girls who has a bit of a chaotic lifestyle and he's actually very jealous of her friend, best friend, because she is very talented and outgoing. Uh, this girl, so the narrator is called Sharon and her friend is called Mel and Mel is very um, outgoing, yeah, I just said, she's very outgoing and she likes, keeps changing girlfriends and everything. I thought this book was very, very striking and beautiful. Um, it doesn't deal with like uh, this closet and calling out things that we can see sometimes in LGBTQ reads because she's really out, out there doing her thing, enjoying her life even if she also has lots of scars she's really an amazing character they both are actually and i definitely recommend this book uh if you like like striking friendship stories and like it was just very beautiful and moving i also reviewed it on my blog the link will be in my description and the last book is actually my latest read it's called um love is love by Mette bach I also just reviewed it on my blog, link in the description. Basically, it's the story of a teenage girl called Annie who deals with body issues because she's overweight and she's trying to find her place uh, in school and she does that by getting closer with like this very popular guy and uh, it doesn't work out. She doesn't get on with her mom so she decides to move with her uncle and aunt in Vancouver and there she meets again with her cousin's friend called Jude who is uh, currently trans transitioning and she falls in love with him hopelessly like she's 
completely head over heels. She finds him good looking, hot, super interesting. He's into poetry and she loves poetry. He's also working as a bartender and throughout the story we see them um, getting closer, dealing with their issues and I thought it was beautiful that uh, these two people got to uh, meet each other because uh, they really understand each other and it's very beautiful and it's um, one of the only books I've read with a trans character who's like one of the main characters in the story so I thought it was very interesting also to see him as a love interest yeah I definitely recommend this book I think uh, you should definitely check it out you can also read my review and yeah that's it for this video I guess I hope you enjoyed feel free to recommend uh, whichever diverse LGBTQ or any book you think I might like in the description maybe give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this and I guess I'll see you around bye